All right, we got parts for a new project. Let's see what we got. You can probably figure out what I'm building. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty straightforward. This is the start of a little autonomous householdy kind of rover thing. So, uh, got some motor drivers, some wheels, whole stack of motors, which I think was only meant to have four motors in the packet, and it seems to come with five apparently. So that's handy. Um, and these little guys, acoustic position sensors, and some little ball caster wheels. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to design and build it now. Okay, so this is the progress that we have made on our little uh, robot dude. So, as you can see, the uh, chassis is pretty much finished. Um, it's a fairly simple little design. Uh, it's basically main parts of two 3D printed uh, pieces that are sandwiched together. Inside the sandwich, we've got our motors, and we've got our stepper motor driver, which I've just now noticed. If you look in the front, the little heat sink looks like a little grill on the front of it, which is kind of cool. Um, and we've got our battery pack in at the back there with its power switch. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole thing. It's pretty, seems pretty robust, um, nice and solid. Bolts going through it, which make it fairly stiff. Have my Arduino on the top here, which isn't fixed down yet. Haven't decided its position, its final position yet, but I'll probably just fix it down with some uh, double stick tape. I'm kind of a fan of doing that these days. Uh, some like Velcro, double, uh, you know, adhesive stuff. Um, other thing on the chassis, the very bottom, is a tiny little spacer block that I printed that goes in here, which just means that the caster wheel can be at the same. Um, same distance off the ground as those guys. So when it sits, it sits nice and level, can move around. Um, so it doesn't really do anything <laughs> much yet, but if I turn it on, woohoo, we can spin in circles. So that's cool. I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that's all it does. Um, so. The brains of it, as such, haven't been programmed yet. Um, basically, the the Arduino. The plan is for the Arduino to do handle all of the low-level control. So, it's currently is interfacing with the motor driver, so it can drive the wheels forward, backwards, and obviously we can make it go left and right and all that sort of stuff. So that'll be the kind of low-level control logic that the Arduino is going to handle. The Arduino is also going to handle this little guy, which is an ultrasonic position sensor. So this is going to be the main. Well, at least the first attempt at kind of a the, the main navigation um, tool. So this will be how it can see, how it can look around and figure out where it's going. So I have a little slot here at the front, so it can go in just like that, uh, which gives it its little little bug eyes on the front. Um, I'll secure that in place there, and then that will also connect to the Arduino. Um, so the Arduino will be responsible for the sensor data acquisition and for driving the motors. The actual control algorithm, though, I'm not going to write on the Arduino. So I could, very easily, I could write you know, code on the Arduino that will read the position of this and will be able to hopefully make the bot avoid obstacles and navigate around the place. But I'm not going to do that. Well, I might do it. <laughs> but my other plan is I have this Raspberry Pi, which I haven't really used for very much. So there's a convenient space on the front here where the Raspberry Pi can also live. 
Um, so partly the reason why I wanted to do this was I've had this idea for a long time and I've just never really done it, where basically I'll use a USB cable between the Pi and the Arduino just as a serial communication channel so that I can communicate between the two of them. Um, my idea is going to be that the Arduino is going to handle all the low level stuff like driving the motors, you know, communicating with the sensors, that sort of stuff. And it's going to send all of its data to the Pi. The Pi then is going to have some really high level software written on it that's going to figure out what it should do and it's going to send commands back to the Arduino to tell it how to move around. So it's Poss it's like it, it, it's an abstract way of doing it and it's kind of a, an unnecessary way of doing it in some ways but it's something I wanted to play around with is having as well the serial communication between the two and just seeing what I can make out of that also I like the idea that this is I have wireless communication on this so I can program it wirelessly I can communicate with it wirelessly and you know I can tell it to do some very high level stuff you know it can it'd be quite easy to build stuff into this like you know, mapping software and things like that, which then it can just communicate with the, the Arduino to tell it what to do. So the Arduino is pretty dumb in this situation. It doesn't really have to have any smarts. It just needs to be able to tell motors how to spin. And it just needs to be able to feed us back the um, sensor data. So that's about it for now. I think the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out just how to secure this guy in place. I'm gonna wire him in um, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting you know nice data from it, and then what I will do is I'll basically I've already written sort of a serial protocol that I can you know communicate easily between these two. So I'll take all the motor drive logic, all the sensor logic, I'll integrate it with that serial protocol, and then hopefully have my first kind of version of the platform as such ready to go, so that I can start writing code on this to control this guy. That's the plan anyway. So see how that goes. Okay, we've made some really, really good progress on our uh, little robot. So last time we were having a look, we had his uh, lid top piece mounted on, and I talked about I was gonna add the position sensor, which as you can see is now attached in place there. Um, and now he looks like he's got a little bug eyes. Um, and I've decided that he needs a name. So I hereby christen you Beboop, Beboop the Rover. Um, so he's got his little position sensor, he's got his Arduino which you saw previously, now has a Raspberry Pi on top. Raspberry Pi is connected to the Arduino over the USB cable and we have, this is just a temporary uh, power bank that I have on top which is powering the Pi because I was finding that supply, trying to supply power from the Arduino over the USB to the Pi wasn't really working very well. So this is our setup and the cool part is I've written some code which basically now I can interface wirelessly with this uh, so I can SSH onto the Pi, I can run a script on the Pi which will essentially set up a little serial server port thing that communicates between the two and I can issue commands and it can execute commands. So if I connect it up and turn on the power so it won't do anything for a second and I need to wait till the Pi boots as well, um, but all right, we're ready to go. So I'll run this command. So that script has fired up and it's now communicating serially. So what's, what's actually happening in the background here as well is the Arduino is taking sensor readings from this and it's actually sending it to the Pi. It's not doing anything with those sensor readings at the moment, but that will be how it gets its basically its feedback loop is that the Arduino will be sending the sensor data back to the Pi, the Pi will be deciding what to do, and then the Pi will issue commands to the robot and then um, it'll do stuff. <laughs> so because I'm on my desk here, uh, let's just try and make him spin around in a circle. So make him spin to the left at a speed of 150, which is just, it's a number between zero and uh, two, uh, 255. So let's see what happens. And there he goes, spinning away. That's fantastic. So I can send the command S, which is just the stop command. And then I can send the OR 150 command. So it should spin in the opposite direction. Whee, and it does. <laughs> I should 
change direction. Oh, that didn't work. How did that work? Let's try again. Oh, okay, let's just drop the command somewhere there. And I can make him spin faster. Ooh, that's a bit weird. I'm gonna figure out why that's not working sometimes. Oh, ah, there we go. Must be dropping some commands in between. There is a whole error handling bit in here, but I don't have it um, wired up to display anything on the screen. But yeah, <laughs> that's that's what Beboop can do. <laughs> well, it's what he can do right now. Um, so there's a lot more I want to do with this. Um, basically, I want to be able to, I want him to be able to just drive around on his own nice being able to issue the commands but this is just a proof of concept that the whole piping works that the some high level code written on the raspberry pi can control the arduino which in turn can drive the motors and you know make the whole little robot drive around the place and i've got sensor data coming back so yeah that's i'm calling this uh, an absolute success for now um so i think i'm probably going to leave it there um for now for this video for this part um I have a lot of software to write, a lot of code to figure out how exactly I'm going to make uh, it do all the things. I want to clean up some of this, none of this is mounted down properly. don't really want to be just leaving this um, uh, power bank connected to it to power it. I'd like it all just be powered from the one source. Um, probably just need to just have a direct feed from the batteries down here to the Pi. Um, maybe I'll uh, modify a USB cable to do that for me. So yeah, that's about it for right now. Um, Hopefully, uh, there's going to be more, going to be more work on this guy in the future. Uh, a lot of software, a lot of kind of fun things. But for right now, I'm incredibly proud of this. <laughs> there's something so satisfying about this. I can't believe I actually made this little guy. Um, yeah, so that's great. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you liked it, you want to keep up to date with it as it progresses. Um, you know, there's a link in the description. Follow, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also I'm going to I will be publishing all the CAD and the code for this and I'm going to try a little bit of a different format than I have done up to now for how I publish that stuff so um, keep an eye out for that uh, there might, should be a link to my website where you'll be able to download all the assets all the files and uh, all the code and everything as well like that and possibly some instructions on like how to assemble um, something like this yourself um, so yeah I think that's it for now thanks for watching guys